Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Here. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I have done a video, even though I said that I was gonna come back and show you the rest of the things that I got in the Sephora VIB sale. That'll be in another video. This video is going to be the products that I picked up from um, Juvia's Place. Their last couple of launches, which was the bronzed collection. And then I think they had the blushed. Yeah, the blushed collection. So let's separate these things. Um, what I picked up. Um, I, the first things I picked up were from the bronze collection, of course, because that launched first. So I got the bronze rustic palette, which looks like this. Really pretty. It's one of the little mini six pan palettes. And these are the shades. And no, I was going to say I wore this one yesterday, but I did not. These are the shades. And I picked up one of the highlighters, I mean not highlighters, one of their bronzer duos and I picked it up in tan and tan looks like this and I'm going to try to apply this one today because my, um, there a mirror? there's a mirror in here. I am just realizing there's a mirror. Juvia's Place does not do mirrors but I am so happy that they have one in this palette. Um, I also picked up with the bronze collection one of the lip glosses and this is in the shade bronze rose I am gonna put that on today which amazingly enough matches with the eyeshadow that I have on today which is from the blush collection so I'm gonna put that on today and I picked up one of their luxe liners and this is from the bronze collection it's in the shade brownie and then with this order came a little cute little mini Nubian palette. So it is even minier than the mini. Let me take this off. But it's a cute little travel, little neutral palette that they, you can like throw in even your purse if you are going away. And it'll cover you for the whole weekend unless you want some color, but this can probably cover you for like a whole weekend away. I then went um, back when they in, when they released the blush palette. I picked up the my hair is doing some things today. Um, I picked up another of the bronzers because I did not think that the tan was going to be dark enough, and the tan might be dark enough. We'll see in a second. But I got it in the shade dark, and the dark one looks like this. The dark one almost looks like this one can be used for a blush. I don't know, but this is what the dark one looks like. I picked up the Blushed Rose Palette, which is what I have on my eyes today. And I picked up the Blushed Rougie. Would this say Rougie? I don't know. Blush Rouge palette. This is volume one. I think volume one was the darker one. The lighter one just did not look like it would work for my skin tone. But these are the blushes in the volume one palette. So those are those are the things that I picked up. I am actually, and I will take my glasses off, wearing the some of the shadows from the um what do you call it? it's blushed rose palette today and i'm gonna swatch it real quick of course these do not have names on them it's just one two three four five and six so we are gonna swatch them i'm gonna swatch across the top first and this one is gorgeous this one looks familiar though all right, and this is that top row, which is uh, this row here. And then we are gonna swatch the second row, which I wore the um, 
sort of shimmery one on my lid today. I had a little bit of trouble with that one. It's, it felt a little chunky. All right, and this is the bottom row. So those are the shades from the Blush Rose palette. I'm gonna grab the Bronze Rustic palette and swatch that on my other hand real quick. We are gonna go across this top row and then across the bottom row. This one almost looks fall to me. Like this first orange that I'm swatching looks sort of sunflowery or ooh, that's bright or like a pumpkinish color. So this is the top row. The one in the middle is very pigmented but feels very powdery. And we are gonna go with the second row. And that middle color, I am running out of fingers. That middle color on the second row. Try that again. It's really pretty, really pretty. And we'll use our thumb to do this one. This, is, this, this looks like a good crease shade. So this is the bottom row here. This one, this one, and this one. So these are the shades from the two palettes they may almost even be a little bit um interchangeable if you want to use it that way um i'm going to clean off my hands my fingers and i will be all right so um i am going to quickly swatch for you the two bronzer palettes and the blush palette since i have the blush palette in my hand now i'm going to swatch that for you I'm gonna swatch the darker one and then I love that orange color. Orange is gorgeous on um, women of color in the summertime especially. So this is the volume one blush Rouge palette. And this is going to be next the bronzed, the bronzed bronzy. Am I supposed to be saying that? Both I don't know, but this is the tan bronzer palette so you have your lighter shade and your darker shade that's your lighter and your darker shades and the, the tan might be just a tad too light for me but we will see because that's what i'm going to put on my face today and then this one is the bronze dark palette so no, you know how you feel like you just might be in the middle of two but this is um the dark palette i am actually going to grab i have a tapered old school tapered face face brush from um sigma and i am going to go let's take this film off here i'm going to go into the tan palette the darker shade here and I'm sure they are very pigmented they are a little they do have some kick up yeah I don't I do see it somewhat oh yeah it does it shows up so this one is good I would think for your just everyday natural if you are any darker than me i would go with the dark but this is good for just an everyday sort of bronzer and this is going in with that darker shade in the tan palette and you just want to put a bit here here and it shows up very slightly but it shows up all right and that is that and the last thing that I wanted to do is just to quickly um put on and I'm going to use that mirror from the bronze palette I am going to put on the liner I already know I like the formula of the liners because I have the liner in cola 
and it is really nice. These are really smooth, as you can see, going on really nicely. might hear a little bit of wind because I have my window open today all right and this is the bronze rose blush I mean lip gloss I believe that there were two shades of the and it has a nice jumbo applicator there were two shades of the lip gloss but this is the one that appealed to me It is really pretty, kind of sheer flesh tone shade. And I'm glad it's not liquid lipstick because my lips are dry as all get out today. But that is really pretty. I actually am going to grab a blush brush from here. I am going to just tap ever so lightly into that darker one and just put a little bit let's take this off i can't see what i'm doing this is very pigmented and you will tap the littlest tap and you get great company off almost afraid of this blush because that is very pigmented very pretty but very pigmented um that is it you all this is the bronzed and the blush so this is the bronzed collection and a couple of items from the blushed collection and more bronze collection that is what i picked up from Juvia's Place. Thank you all so much for watching. Now I feel like I need to put a little bit of highlight on, but I'm not. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.